Windor Tool. Windor Tool is a complete solution for creating windows and doors. Uh, it is located in a Create, Geometry and Future Art Arquis section. So when we activate Windor Tool, uh, it is necessary to set uh, Auto Grid mode because we are always putting this tool on the existing wall. Wall must be of course created with uh, this plugin, so this wall, uh, wall tool. So just clicking on the uh, on the wall, we can create uh, very easily uh, window tool um, with help of shape library objects. This tool has a lot of options. Uh, first, uh, drill mode. Uh, in drill mode, we can disable drilling of the wall, so we are putting just a uh, window or door object. We can set automatic mode, so uh, drill box is aut automatically calculated, and we can uh, override this with a user mode. So uh, in user mode, we can define the depth of the drilling box. Sometimes it might be useful. But the best way is to keep it as a automatic mode. Next two options are wall grid and corner mode. Uh, wall grid uh, it is very uh, useful when we when we need to place a window or door uh, uh, object on the wall very precisely because this grid is specially designed to work with uh, on the wall. Uh, we can set uh, where uh, where the pivot of the grid should be located. Uh, default is left bottom corner of the wall, and uh, we can set also a custom value of this grid. So with this wall grid uh, placement of uh, the tool is much 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 more uh, useful and easy. Uh, it's much better than uh, grid uh, from 3D Studio Max. Uh, it works together with uh, corner mode. Uh, when we enable corner mode and uh, when we reach the corner of the wall with the tool, then as we can see now in top viewport, the drill box of the window uh, is adjusted to this corner and also a uh, window object is repositioned to, to be uh, to be co uh, placed correctly on this corner. So as you can see when I uh, when I'm moving with offset of the window in the in the wall it is precisely placed according to this corner. So you just uh, place the uh, window from single side from one side from sec second side and the corner windows is uh, very easily created. You just need to uh, keep a corner mode enabled. Next option uh, is a uh, layers mode. Uh, we can enable together three layers uh, at one time. So we can uh, use objects from three different libraries uh, as a single object. Uh, I will show you uh, la later on the end of this video uh, how this can be useful. Uh, we can use for each layer we can use uh, object from window library or door, li door library so we have two basic uh, library types windows and doors each one has uh, uh, can have um, uh, several uh, library uh, directories and um, uh, it's up to you uh, what kind of uh, objects you will fill in for more information how to add uh, object into window and door library please please uh, please special video for 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 this subject uh, there are two basic types of windows and doors uh, front wall and uh, front back wall you can see in this thumbnail this this basic window is a front and what does it mean when window or door is a front wall object then uh, the object is placed from the front window with some kind of offset so when you change the offset you can move 
through the wall so you can move the object through the wall and when you have a front bag object for example I have here in these uh, default frames folder front bag objects these like this frame frame window this kind of object front bag object uh, is uh, placed from the front to the back so it is placed uh, you you can't you can't move offset move offset is disabled for this kind of object but uh, uh, it is uh, placed automatically it is stretched along the depth of the wall next options are basic to parameters width height center so uh, we can adjust them with the handles in the viewport or uh, through these parameters in you uh, know in the numeric panel uh, also very useful are these uh, four green open job buttons in the viewport uh, last one default will revert uh, dimensions of the tool uh, into default dimensions from the object stored in library and uh, with fix button we can uh, set let's say the size of this window into this and with fix button we will freeze these dimensions and we can reuse it with another usage so by that way with fix button we can copy and place windows with same dimension to other locations uh, together with wall grid uh, it is very powerful so uh, very useful next is a uh, alignment from uh, left to right up down so we can I will rather switch to the door so you can see uh, we can uh, set uh, left right alignment or up down alignment of the object and um, when we when we need to uh, when we mean to flip side of this door for example uh, you just uh, uh, unfix the tool and dragging left or right edge handle to other side will flip the the object from left to right or up down and again set default set fix place on the, on the bottom and uh, we have precise placement of this object so with this uh, alignment uh, buttons, fix button and default button, we can very easy, easily place and uh, locate object uh, uh, on the position and uh, uh, orientation uh, we need. And finally, I will show you how uh, useful can be a layer system. So first I will create some door. Uh, which is in uh, first layer and uh, I will enable also second layer and in second layer I will enable door library default frames and let's say this, this frame or you can switch another so in first layer our uh, main body of the door and in second layer uh, there is a uh, uh, door frame so with this combination we can create even more complex object and each layer has different uh, dif different ability because door frame is automatically calculated and stretched uh, along the uh, uh, wall to fit a uh, wall from front to back and a uh, door door object can be offset it along the depth of the wall so you can adjust it inside the wall where you want to position it so this is very powerful and very useful and it works for doors and also for windows so I will show you also uh, window case so in first layer I will set the default frames let's say this simple and in second layer I will set the default window let's say this and as you can see it works also for windows so you set some uh, frame and also some window window again is a only front object so you can move it along the wall depth 
and uh, the uh, frame of the window is front back object so so it is uh, stretched automatically you, you cannot offset it so this way you can create a more complex object easily and there is some uh, some reserve for third layer for curtains and so on which will be in the next uh, versions uh, more information how to add front back and front object windows and doors into library please watch special video for this